today and I'm going to share it because I was such a wimp. And I hate that this happens and I have no control over it. Uh, so I went to the doctor today for like annual checkup and I got blood drawn for labs and tests and all that stuff because you know once a year you can do that for free with insurance. Uh, so I went and did all that and I have an irrational fear of needles and I am completely aware that this is totally irrational and there's nothing to be afraid of and like I know I shouldn't be afraid mm -hmm. and I was determined not to freak out this time so determined not to freak out and so I told the guy I'm like you're gonna do that and I'm gonna really try to just distract myself so I don't have to think about what you're doing over there and so I got on my phone and I was like scrolling through Twitter um, looking at my notifications and time just slowed down all of a sudden and it's like oh my gosh it feels like I've been sitting here forever and I think he took like four vials out or little I don't know three or four it seemed like a million <laughs> and I'm trying not to look at it because I don't want to look at it I'm trying to like just pretend I'm somewhere else I'm trying to breathe and I'm just like why is this taking so long to but I made it and he pulled the needle out and I was like, oh good, I'm not going to freak out this time. I was so happy. And then it happened. After he pulled it out, like I started to get hot mm -hmm. and I started to get warm. And I just messed up my hair like crazy. I just, um, and so I started to get warm and then I started sweating, profusely sweating. Like I was soaked in sweat and I'm always cold and I was just like, hot, hot, hot sweating and I'm sitting there and I'm like this is unfortunate. I kept getting hotter and hotter and I was getting dizzy and so you know when it first started happening I because this has happened before although not this bad when I've had blood drawn. I tried really hard to like donate blood once and the same thing happened. I just, I, it bothers me because I know it's completely irrational and so like the first thing I did when this started happening was like I was like can do you have cold water and so he gave me cold water and he made the other girl stand with me because he's like thinking I'm gonna pass out on the floor or fall out of the chair or something um, and then I drank water and then I was like everything was spinning the room was spinning and I was hot and it was horrible and I feel like I was gonna get sick which is so bad and I'm like I'm, yeah I think I'm gonna puke I told the guy I don't know what words I said but I managed to tell him I think I might throw up, and so he gave me a trash can, and so I put it at my feet, the trash can, and I really thought I was going to throw up, and actually I threw up in my mouth and swallowed it. It's really gross. It was gross. But I didn't throw up, but like what I did is like I leaned over, and I put my chest on my knees, and I just kind of had my head down on between my legs, and when I did that, finally everything started to go back to normal and I didn't throw up outwardly but I was just like oh this feeling it won't go away and I just like felt so horrible and it seemed like usually like you get a little hot I don't know it's just it just it seemed like I was like stuck like that with my heart just like and I was just like sweating 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 and it's like everything was spinning and I thought I was really gonna pass out in my own puke and I didn't but it's like the worst that's ever been I wish there was like a better way that they could get blood from you <laughs> that doesn't involve needles but yeah that's my wimpy story of me being a wimp and it's just so weird because I know nothing's gonna happen to me like I don't know why this happens like it's it's I can sometimes like have a shot like given to me like like um still bothers me a little but I can deal with that but like when they take blood out of me like that there's the needle there and just the feeling of the I can it's like I can feel it coming out of me they're sucking the life out of me I don't know it's ugh. so yeah uh, that's my irrational fear I have an irrational fear of needles um do you have any irrational fears you know, tell me about your irrational fears. Um, it's just interesting when you know that the fear is completely unjustified and you are paralyzed by it anyway. So I just thought I would share because that was a very human moment. 
Um, and I literally don't know how to get over this or overcome this because it seems to actually get worse every time I have blood drawn. And I don't know why. Mm. But I hopefully you only get that to happen like once a year or so. Most of the times so that's good. Because I couldn't... Like last time I was supposed to go get labs, I just decided not to. Like my doctor ordered them and I was just like, yeah, I'm not going to do that. And I just didn't. So I guess it's been like two years since I've had this done. But, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's it. I have nothing else to say. I, I whipped out today. But it is what it is. Bye.